So I'm going to show you how I do my sky replacements in Lightroom and Photoshop. As you see here, I've got a house that was shot on a very, very gray day. Absolutely no detail in the sky whatsoever. And in addition, if there's a lot of haze going on on the, in the tops of the trees and the tops of the image here and even the top of the house. The chimney you can see is somewhat hazy. I'm going to try to take care of as much of that as I can before I go into Photoshop. Right now I've got the exposure and the color balance pretty close. So what I want to do next is grab a brush from my masking menu here and I want to paint in the tops of the trees, the sky, get a little bit of that chimney also. I've got a very soft brush here. And once I have that, you see the mask there. And I'm going to scroll down here to dehaze. And I'm going to, as I crank that up, you can see the haze going away. It's giving me a little more edge to the trees, which is going to help with my mask. And that, I think, is pretty close. So another mask I want to make is a radial gradient and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that right in the middle of the house here. So when I bump up the exposure a little bit, it's going to make the house pop a little more without looking too funky. I don't want to go too far with it. If you click the eyeball on and off, you can see what the difference is with and without the masks. This is without the mesh, there's a lot of haze, the house is a little dark in front. Right now I'm drawing a little more attention to the house. Okay, so I think we're ready to go into Photoshop. Right hand click, I like to open as a smart object in case I need to access my raw file again. And here we are in Photoshop. So what I'm going through here, I'm going to go to Sky Replace, Edit Sky Replacement. And I have a bunch of skies here that I shot. And let's just pick one that will probably look okay. That will probably look okay. Uh, as you see here, it's bringing it in at full strength. I don't like it at full strength because I think with the flatness of the house, it's going to be a dead giveaway that it's, going to, that it's a sky replacement. So I'm going to lighten that up by about half. I'm also going to change the color temperature a little bit so it's not so blue and funky looking. Because again, I want it to match the house. And that's looking okay. Uh, however, I don't like what Photoshop does with this mask. You see, it's just really, really a soft mask and it bleeds too much into the rest of the image. So what I like to do here is grab this lighting group. I'm going to select all three of these layers and just trash them because sometimes it bleeds onto the house and I just don't think it's a good look but right now I think that's a good look and since we dehaze the edge of the trees I think that makes a better mask and right there I think that's pretty close so if I needed to I could go back and find fine-tune my my raw image here um, I don't think I want to do that right now for this but if I could you can see it's a smart object and it will open up in in raw so that's my sky replacement I would save that and I think that would be okay to deliver